of God to celebrate the marriage of Greg and Teresa and to witness the recommitment of their love for one another. As a public affirmation, they will declare to us their very special love and reaffirm their lasting commitment as partners in love for life. The promises they are about to make affirm their continuing love to be a special commitment which will continue to strengthen their lives and prepare them for whatever situations they may face with the strength and courage of two who have been united as one in the Lord. Remember, in marriage, it is the little things that are the biggest. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, out loud every day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is at no time taking the other for granted, for what you take for granted will soon disappear. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and not bring it up later. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to wear angel's wings. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and most importantly at times, a sense of humor. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful in each other. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is more importantly being the right partner. Now we, as your friends and family gathered here today, accept for you a love that continues to bring out your magnificence, a love that gives you the courage to stand apart and the willingness to stand together. When times call for you to be apart, May you always return to your togetherness in the same spirit of love that you are feeling at this moment. And now, I will have a reading by Renee Dempsey. Okay. When I was first tasked with giving a reading today, I did what any true Dempsey would do. I put it off to the last possible moment. However, no longer, no matter how long I put this off, the task still remained the same. I was expected to read something whether I wanted to or not. And as the deadline loomed nearer, I did what any girl in my position would do. I went to my big brother for help. And as always, my big brother was there with excellent advice and wisdom. It was so good that I could only follow what he had given, which was not to do a reading, but instead to play a song. A song that perfectly summed up the meaning and emotions of today. So, taking my ingenious brother's advice, I will now be letting the song do all of the talking for me. Love <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> As most of you know, Jason gives horrible advice. <laughs> and since my loving big brother let me down, as usual, it's up to me to rescue myself. And since my knowledge of love is very limited, I took it upon myself to borrow a few lines from writers and poets who came before me. Those who have better understanding or perhaps just a better imagination of love than I do. A purpose of human life, no matter who is controlling it, is to love whoever is around to be loved. 
Nobody has ever measured, not even the poets, how much the heart can hold. In the flush of love's light, we dare be brave, and suddenly we see that love costs all that we are and will ever be. Yet it is only in love which sets us free. You don't love because you love despite, not for the virtues, but despite the faults. Love is like the wind, you can't see it, but you feel it. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. It doesn't matter who you are or what you look like, as long as somebody loves you. It is a curious thought, but it is only when you look at see people looking ridiculous that you realize how much you love them. It isn't what we say or what we think that defines us, but what we do. Love does not consist of gazing at each other, but in looking outward together in the same direction. Love is the emblem of eternity. It confounds all notion of time, it faces all memory of a beginning, all fear of an end. Love is the very difficult understanding that something other than yourself is real. Love is an untamed force. When we try to control it, it destroys us. When we try to imprison it, it enslaves us. When we try to understand it, it leaves us feeling lost and confused. There is no remedy for love but to love more. Who being loved is poor. Love does not begin and end the way we seem to think it does. Love is a battle. Love is a war. Love is growing up. We love things for what they are. There is no charm equal to the tenderness of the heart. And as Jane Austen once said, happiness in marriage is entirely a matter of chance. And happily for you two, you were able to take the odds given to you and turn them in your favor. Congratulations on 30 years. I love you. We gather here today in the presence of God and family to recognize and renew the marriage vows that Greg and Teresa had originally taken in 1987, which was last century. <laughs> Greg, Teresa, I remind you that marriage is a precious gift, a lifelong dedication to love, and a daily challenge to love one another more fully and to love one another more freely. Teresa and Greg have written their own vows, and now that you have declared your intentions, I invite you to share your vows with one another. <coughs> when God put us together over 30 years ago, my life could not be more blessed and fulfilled. God knew that I needed a strong man of faith, and that we both needed someone we could build love, namely trust, and respect for. Marriage is never easy, nor is it perfect, but I think we made a pretty good story for our children and grandchildren. We've had doubters at the beginning, and we still do, but I think that we have built a beautiful marriage with love and respect to each other. We have been through so much together, winning a family, fight, life, laughter, with your jokes, tears, joys, and blessings, but through it all, I can honestly say our love has only gotten stronger. I couldn't have asked God for a better husband than soulmate. You're the most loving, caring, and hardworking man that I've ever known. I know that you have made me a better person. You believe in me when I doubt myself. Yeah, you won. <laughs> you won the bet. <laughs> the love I see in your eyes makes me believe anything is possible. You still have the power to surprise me with how much you care. You make my heart skip a beat when I first met you, and you continue to make my heart skip a beat today. My life is complete and secure because of you. And I thank God every day that you're in my life. Greg, I will always be your best friend, your wife, your confidant, and your biggest supporter, even when it means buying that auto shop. <laughs> I promise to inspire you, laugh with you, cherish you, care for you, love you, and continue to grow old with you. I vow to always be by your side and be a devoted wife. I will continue to always give you the best of me, and sometimes the worst. I believe in us, and I will love you until the day I take my last breath. I look forward to continuing our journey together and see what else God has planned. For I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord. Plans to prosper, to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Jeremiah 29. 29. <laughs> And 
And she knows I didn't ride them, so ditto. Or. I'm not quite as sentimental as Teresa, <laughs> typically. Most of you know that. <laughs> so, 30 years ago, we had a chance meeting that turned into a romance. This transition from... Two. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. And then we were. And we were. So happy together. Promise to love for richer and poorer. It definitely started out. <laughs> and you and the kids followed me all around the country singing. Papa was a And at times, there was a definite feeling of... <laughs> but through it all, there was... Thirty years later, all I can say is I love you and that's beautiful. <laughs> There's never been a greater professional love by a man. <laughs> Uh, today, Greg and Teresa have chosen the symbol of rings to reaffirm this marriage. Now, these rings <laughs> serve as a reminder for your wedding vows to each other and your commitment to live in unity, love, and happiness. Greg, please take Teresa's left hand, and as you place this ring on her <laughs> finger, repeat after me. Don't place it on yet. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of my continuing love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my continuing love. And devotion with all that I am. And with devotion with all that I am. <laughs> and all that I have, I honor you. And all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may not place the ring on her finger. <laughs> Teresa, please take Greg's left hand and repeat after me. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of my continuing love. As a symbol <laughs> and devotion. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may now place the ring on his finger. <laughs> yes, this is really happening, Teresa. <laughs> uh, if there's anything you remember of this renewal vow ceremony, it is that it was love that brought you here today. It is only love that can make you, that can make it a glorious union. And it is by love that your marriage shall endure. Whatever the situation, love, understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness can make everything right. May that special love you now share continue to grow and blossom in the years to come and to be sustained by God, by family and friends, and by the commitment that you two make again this day. May you find in each other companionship as well as love.
understanding as well as compassion, challenge as well as agreement. May the home in which you live in continue to be an island where the pressures of the world can be sorted out and brought into focus, where tensions can be released and understood, where personal needs do not tower over concern for others, and where the warmth of humor and love puts crisis into perspective. And above all, may you find an even richer joy in living, learning, and loving together. And now that Greg and Teresa have reaffirmed their love and commitment to each other by solemn vows, by the joining of hands, and with the giving and receiving of a ring, I, I affirm that you are wife and husband in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You may now seal your promises with a kiss. One, uh, one thing I want to say, first off, our son, huh? Yeah. 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 And our daughter. And the ones that can't be here, and all the grandkids, right? So, we thank everybody for coming in. We know a lot of you came in from faraway places, and uh, we appreciate all the effort that you put in to be able to come here. Uh, we really do appreciate it. It is a celebration. It is fun. It should be fun. And uh, we are now going to have a masquerade ball. That's really why we're here. All right. So everybody in front or behind you is your mask. All right. So we're all going to have a mask and we're going for a masquerade ball and we're going to have a food of a time. And so thank you. Yes. We've had, I've had the opportunity to stand up here and watch each and every one of your lovely faces during the ceremony. And now I kindly beg of you to place on your mask. And marriage, and marriage, go together it's like a really horse good. and carriage. <laughs> this I tell you, brother, you can't have one without the other. Love and marriage, love and marriage, it's an institute you can't disparage. As the local gentry. And they will say it's elementary. Try, try, try to separate them. It's an illusion. Try, 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 and you will only come to this conclusion. Love and marriage, love and marriage. Together like a horse and carriage. Don't hit anything. I was told by mother, you can't have one, you can't have none, you can't have one.